Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another gardening project. So, I am actually going to be planting a few new milk jugs today. If you've never done a winter sowing seed project, um, it's very easy. I have a whole video on how it works, but essentially, take your milk jugs and we splice them halfway so that they become mini greenhouses. Put in your soil, you put in your seeds, you're going to water them every day when they need it, but for the most part, these babies collect rain and moisture when it rains, um, and you don't really need to baby them all that much. So you can see I have a whole army of them <laughs> that we planted, whoo, there's a cardinal. Over the winter, they're great. In our area, we can typically plant some over the winter, and by spring, we have really strong plants. But if you can't do that, you really just need to be able to plant them eight weeks before your last frost. So it is January right now, <coughs> which is the ideal time in Southern Alabama, eight weeks before our last frost. So I'm going to be planting some swamp milkweed, which is a native milkweed to our area. If you watched my milkweed video where I planted a milkweed plant right over here, you know that milkweed is of course the home plant or the food plant of the monarch butterfly. It is what they like to lay their eggs on. It is what the young babies eat. It is essential to their survival. And while I found one plant last year, you need at least seven to eight to be good host plants for your butterflies. Because when the caterpillars grow up, they really strip them down. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant a bunch of these seeds. I'm going to plant some in these containers and I'm going to plant some inside and a grow system that is on its way. So hopefully we can do that all in this video. If not, I'll link the second half of the video with the grow lights um, below. But we're going to try in the milk jugs and with the grow lights and see which method is more successful. So we're going to start because it is a it is three o'clock y'all, which means we are going to be Russian daylight. Fighting daylight? It's gonna get dark soon. All right, so the other thing I didn't mention but should be fairly intuitive is that you need to poke drain holes in the bottoms of these. Water goes in, it also needs to come out or you will have a soupy, messy mess. So, phase one. So now that we have all our little containers done, let's get our seeds. And this is supposed to have 500 seeds in it, so we have a lot. The most important thing about milkweed that I mentioned in the milkweed video is that you need a native milkweed to your area. So here in Southern Alabama, swamp milkweed is native to our area. So we are not going to cover these. It says to surface sow them. And you want to sow four per plant. Keep moist and plant 24 apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do more than five a container. If it says you need four per plant, I will show you, but these are pretty big seeds. So you go ahead and be pretty generous with them. So for our seeds, here's a close up. You can see they are kind of small, flat brown discs and there are a lot of them. I do believe 500 is probably accurate. So. so 
I've just gone ahead and sprinkled them on top like so. So who knows how many is in each one. I will come in as I close them and kind of kick apart any that are too close together. But when you're surface sewing like this, just kind of want them all over. And now we will use the duct tape to seal them shut, label them and put them with their friends. And make sure as you're labeling them that you're using a garden marker and not a permanent marker like a Sharpie that can run with the rain. Or you'll come back to not knowing what the hell all your things are. And that's it for the uh, milk jugs. So I'm gonna go ahead and water them in. And then as soon as the grow light containers that I have coming are here, I will show you how they work. All right, y'all, so it has actually been two weeks since I planted the first set of milkweed seeds. Um, the little seed starter trays finally came right after I did that video, but it's been so busy. But we're going to go ahead and plant the second set of milkweed seeds today in their trays so that they can start growing. But over the last two weeks, these babies have started to germinate. So I wanted to give you an update on their progress and then I will show you the trays and we will plant them up. I think I'm going to go ahead and like a crazy person, keep them on my kitchen island so that I can monitor them. They're very small, so I think it'll be fine, but show you the progress after two weeks. And uh, then I will show you the seed trays and then we will plant them. I'm very excited to see a, hopefully some milkweed seeds growing into milkweed for the monarchs. But B, I want to see really the difference between uh, the milk jug winter sowing method and actual seed starting trays. And if one's better than the other, I don't know that one's necessarily better than the other. I think they're just a little different and one requires more work than the other. So we're going to have to water the seed starting trays. Let's look. Okay, so these six are our milkweed seeds. Let's come right on down here and see if I can't get a good visual for you. There we go. So as you can see, they are surface sewn. You don't cover them. And you can see a few of them are really starting to put out little tails over on the left, up at the top. That is just what we want with these. Now... Look, there's at least there's at least two in each of them that are germinating. They're not all germinating, but we did kind of think that would happen, which is why we surface sewed so many. We'll see what happens. But with this in mind, I am going to be putting multiple seeds in each seed cell. So that hopefully our uh, seed trays will have good germination as well. All right, so here's our little box. I've already opened it. This is Patio Gems seed starter trays. Full disclosure, they did send me these. I did really want to try them, but they did send them to me. So thank you for sending them. I'm excited to see how they work. They have a few different options, and I picked these because they have grow lights that you can put in the top lid. So there are five of them in this pack. Comes with five little grow lights. I've never tried these, so we're gonna have to figure it out. Looks like, okay, so this is like, I was wondering, I'm gonna have to USB all five of these at once. 
So they're gonna have to sit fairly close together, but it looks like we can plug all five into the same outlet, so that's really good. Got some clips. Not sure what these are for. Got some little tiny tools. These are adorable. And we've got some tags, so that's nice. We'll be able to write on here uh, milkweed. I think I might do, I don't know. There's five of the trays. I'm not sure that I'm gonna do all five milkweed. But of the trays, we have five of these plastic pieces that have the hole in the bottom. So this is what we'll fill with dirt and actually plant our seeds in. Then we have the bottom. And the bottom part, get one out, is uh, what you'll put water in to bottom water your seeds. Water or seeds are, are best if you can water them from the bottom so that the seeds have to put roots out. So obviously when they're little, you missed them, but then it's best to bottom water. So bottom seeds. And then we have our little tops to keep whew, the humidity in. So that's, that's adorable. These are so tiny. I was not expecting them to be so tiny, but I like that they're tiny. Cause like I said, I'll be able to find a spot for them. I don't have a big set up in my house where I can put whole trays of seeds. Now, obviously with these being just for seeds, um, we will have to transfer them out of here sooner rather than later. But honestly, that's fine. In Alabama, I'll be able to transfer these into individual pots and then bring them outside to harden off. So I think this is the plug-in part. So that must go up, which means in some way, I don't know if this just sets on top or if it fits down in here. We are figuring this out together, y'all. I'm guessing it, the holes line up so that the air, the air can get inside. It doesn't really snap. So I'm guessing either you have to push really hard or it just sets on top. I'm not positive. I don't want to break it. There we go. Yeah. You just got to push harder. And then humidity, less humidity, no humidity. That's kind of fun. I can't imagine it's not airproof, airtight, so you're never gonna get zero air going in. But, um, you know, I don't think you'd ever want zero air for your seeds. So I'm gonna set the tops aside because we really don't need those until we are ready to light them up. And let's start planting. I'm going to go ahead and fill this guy with our dirt. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we are using pre-moistened soil because that is always best for your seeds. And we've got our little pack here, same as we used in the other one. And we are going to go ahead and put a couple seeds in each little spot. So I'm thinking maybe three in each spot. See how that goes. We can always take seeds out if they have, if all three have germinated, you know, we can take some out, especially since they uh, kind of pre-sprout with the tails. You can see which seeds are germinating and which are not. If we start getting a bunch of germination, we can put another tray together and move a bunch over. but I'd rather have too many in each cell and only one germinate than one in each cell and only half the tray germinate. So, especially when you have a pack like this of 500 seeds, there's no reason not to overplay your hand a little bit. So I don't understand how these are surface sown seeds. I would think with their size, they would be 
need to be down a little bit, but I mean, I showed you at the beginning. They said planting depth do not cover. It does say four seeds per plant for seeding rate. So maybe we should do four per spot. That is the official germination rate. I'm pushing them down into the soil just a smidge. You don't want them to blow off. It's kind of windy out here. Hey, bitty bitty. Well, that was a lot. Okay. All right, well, I think I need some more up here. Heck, if we even get just one in each of these cells to germinate, that's 24 plants. The likelihood that all 24 cells will grow to fruition to plant it in the yard is very unlikely, but that's why you start with 12. If we can get four from each tray, I would be thrilled. Go ahead and mist these. I have a spray bottle for inside, but this is my big mister for all my milk jugs. Once you mist them, once you get them wet, we have to mist, make sure they stay moist. So we will mist them at least once a day until we start to see them germinate. And then we will start to use that bottom tray to water them from the bottom. Right now they're seeds. So if we watered them from the bottom, it would not help much. There we go. Take these inside and set them up. Y'all, hey I'm going to take these inside. I'm going to plug them in on my counter and I will be giving you updates on how they're growing and how they look compared to our milk jugs. But I'm very excited. So we have six milk jugs and two seed trays full of milkweed. And hopefully that means our one little milkweed plant over yonder will have plenty of friends to keep him company this season. I cannot wait to see what grows. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.